Hey, how you doing guys? Steve here, and today is the day the iPhone XS, XS Max and Apple Watch Series 4 are released to the public. So I went straight to my local Apple store to pick up some pre-orders, including the XS and Apple Watch Series 4. I'm still waiting for the XS Max to be delivered to the house. I couldn't pick that up for some reason. So in this video, I'm going to unbox the iPhone XS, uh, give you a quick hands-on look, and have a look at some of the new features. So let's roll the intro and get started. And here it is. We've got an embossed image of the 10S on the front, and depending on which colour you choose, there's a different wallpaper for each. I also made a video on these wallpapers as they hide the notch on the top, so I'll link that in the description down below. On the sides of the box we've got the metallic iPhone text, again to match the colour of the iPhone, so mine is gold. And on the back you can see that I've gone for the 64GB model. Then there's a list of what's in the box, and we can see here that the lightning to headphone adapter is missing. Apple obviously assuming that we don't need it anymore. And on the top and bottom, there's just the Apple logo. So without further ado, let's get unboxing. To no surprise, on top we've got the design by Apple in California folder, and there is the 10S. In the folder though is the usual quick start guide with an emphasis on the lack of home button for anyone upgrading from anything other than an iPhone X. Uh, then there's some ejection tool. Unfortunately, that's not gold to match. That would have been a nice touch for a plus $1,000 phone. Warranty info and the much loved Apple stickers. Let's put all of this to one side and move the phone out of the way for a moment. The gold colour is a lot nicer than what we've seen recently, it's less pink and just looks surprisingly nice with the kind of off-white pearlescent glass. Although looking at the front, I still do think it would have been great for the rear glass to have been black. Black and gold is just a classic combination. Also in the box is a standard wall adapter, of course I have a British one. Then a pair of lightning earpods. Is it just me or does anyone else miss the little cases that the earpods used to come in? And then finally, a USB to lightning charge cable. No quick charge USB-C cables as standard or extra yet. Right, let's put all of this back. It never goes back in easily. And take a look at the phone itself. As I mentioned, the gold stainless steel band is a lot nicer. It looks more like expensive jewelry. And I think we'll see a lot more guys rocking the gold iPhone than we have ever before. The color of the rear glass is also growing on me, but I'm gonna give it a few more days. The design of the 10S is virtually unchanged from last year's iPhone X, apart from the new gold colour option. Let's just bring in my 10 for comparison and take off the plastic on the 10S. It's so satisfying. There's no bumps in display for the 10S, it's rocking the same display as the 10. So let's power it up. Setup is as easy as always, and if you have an existing iPhone, you can use Quick Start to transfer all of your settings and apps and so on. Once that is done, you are prompted to set up Face ID, which is as awkward to film as always. But Face ID is supposedly even quicker on the new 10S, so I'll be interested to see if I notice a difference while reviewing. With Face ID set up, it's just a matter of waiting for everything to be synced. While I wait for the final step, I want to try and give you a better look at this new gold colour, which just looks fantastic. Oh, as I mentioned, the 10S is almost identical design-wise, but what I nearly forgot to point out is that the camera module on the 10S is slightly larger. If I grab my iPhone 10 case and put it onto the 10S, you can see that the bottom of the camera doesn't quite fit so you'll have to keep that in mind when looking for a case. It's copied over the 10R wallpaper I was using on my 10, but there are three new live wallpaper options exclusive to the 10S. Although of course, there's plenty of links online to the still version if you want it on any other phone. 
With the iPhone all set up, well, it's still downloading apps, the first thing I quickly want to do is to try out the improved portrait mode. So now with the 10s and 10s Max, you can adjust the aperture of your portrait photo to get that nice silky smooth bokeh, even after you've taken the photo. At first glance, it's super impressive. The separation between the subject, aka me, and the background looks a lot nicer and cleaner, and the way the background blurs is really beautiful. Of course, I'll be putting that through its paces over the next few days, along with everything else the iPhone 10s has to offer, so I can bring you a full review this coming Monday. Well, that's it for this video, but let me know in the comments section down below if you're picking up an iPhone XS model today, are you getting the Max, are you getting the XS, or maybe you're waiting for the XR next month. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're waiting to see unboxings of the Apple Watch Series 4 or the iPhone XS Max. Plus, we've got an iPhone XS Max giveaway coming to you early next week, so you definitely want to stick around for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.